Hello everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and today we are looking at Patch Tuesday for August 2015 and uh, probably you'll tell me, hey, there's no Patch Tuesday on Windows 10. Well, there still is Patch Tuesday basically for Windows 8 and previous versions of Windows. But, um, and you know what, these Patch Tuesdays will surely also send updates to Windows 10 and you know, we do have some updates today. One that's for sure, that's for the Patch Tuesday, but uh, one that is a cumulative update also. So if you go to your notifications, all settings, uh, and update and recovery, you can click the uh, check for updates if you want to see if you have updates right now. Um, you know, like four or five um, for Windows Defender and um, also the uh, definition updates for Windows Defender, uh, Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool also for Windows 8, 8.1 and 10. Um, there was a security update for Internet Explorer Flash Player for Windows 10. I believe this is also an update available for Windows 8 and 7 because it is a uh, flaw of Flash Player that was discovered, uh, I believe, last week. So um, they've used Patch Tuesday to probably send this uh, update. Um, the biggest update was the cumulative update for Windows 10. Um, the one KB3081436. And I've been trying to get some information on this and apparently we uh, it changes a little bit the build version that we have. So it means that this is mostly bug fixes and uh, updates for Windows 10, but uh, nothing security in here. It's just really enhancing Windows 10, trying to make it uh, better, basically. It took a little longer than usual to install these um, and it actually took, I think, two reboots before it was all installed but everything worked flawlessly I installed it on three machines uh, one is my old core 2 duo one is a core i3 and this one machine that I'm making the video which is a core i5 and uh, on all three computers it worked well flawlessly uh, even though it did take a little more time than usual to install but probably because the cumulative update is big and probably makes a lot of changes so uh, these are available right now, so you can update, um, especially the one with the Flash Player uh, for Windows 10 um, for Internet Explorer, if you use Explorer. Um, this is a, a very important flaw that was discovered, so I think it's worth updating for that. As for the rest, you see, this went well, as we're going into the test phase of this pushed Windows 10 update that you don't have much to say about and you just have to install them. Um, by the way, there are some people that have had problems apparently last week when cumulative update KB3081424. Some people have mentioned that the update doesn't install and every time they um, like close down, shut down the computer or reboot, the computer is always saying that that update is available. Um, there's two fixes available on the web for that. One involves going into the registry, which is not something that I really like do, sending, you know, people to because unless you know what you're doing, it's easy to uh, really cause problems when you play with the registry. But apparently most people have that fixed. Um, and if you're part of that problem, this update keeps showing up. Uh, go to Google and um, just, you know, type uh, update KB3081424 download and you'll be sent to the Microsoft web page where you can actually manually download it and install it. Apparently, uh, the majority of people that did that, it did work. So if you're stuck on 1424, download it manually and uh, install it. Apparently, it's okay. Um, apart from that, I haven't had any problems with updates myself, and it seems that this build updates are really going well for now. And uh, like I said, three machines updated, no problem. So I think this is safe to update your computer if you want to have the latest updates for Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online by subscribing. That's what's the fun part. You can follow us and you know I post videos multiple times a day. Uh, and when something pops up, shows up, I try to be as fast as possible to make a video about it and talk about it. So uh, it's a great place if you want to know the latest news of Windows and uh, what's happening in the world of the PC. If you have comments, questions, anything you want to know, 
why not subscribe and why not send your comments you can send your comments I was always happy to have comments from everybody you know what I'm not that kind of guy that deletes comments if they're negative I actually like both comments there's a lot of negative stuff that I approved uh, you know everybody's entitled to is or her opinion and um, I try to do my best um, if your comment has been deleted maybe you've used F words maybe you've been too uh, drastic or too stubborn in your comments um, you know what if I haven't uh, banned you from the channel it's not that your comment was um, wasn't that bad it's just I, I did not prove it for the language you used but um, if you rephrase it I'll be happy to let it pass no problem so thank you for watching and hope to see you again bye bye